think people are checking in. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, guys. How's everybody's night going? No stress, right? Everybody's chilling. This is a lot. Um, okay, so everybody's joining. I just want to say real quick, you know, I know tonight was supposed to be, you know, a live with me and, um, you know, well, Karen and, and, and Zach, but if you guys just watched, you could see that, like, hey, what's up? You could see, you know, long story short, he's not coming because he's really mad still about, um, about the slap that happened. And, um, can't really fault him. I know the slap was intense. I know it just happened. I still am a little bit traumatized. Um, and we were supposed to talk about it, you know, but I just, I don't think he's ready to talk about it yet. I think, you know, Duvall's a great actor and um, he really be in it. And yeah, so uh, I just think he's a little hurt right now. I'm going to have to apologize next time I'm in person with him. Okay. Um, tonight was so incredible. We, we That's funny. I'm glad you think so. It was a lot. It was a whole lot. Look, y'all, you know I'm not tech savvy, so um, bear with me on this. But I see there's a little question section here. Um, so, okay, so there's some people on my side. Y'all would sue him. Some people would sue him. Yeah, I, yeah, there's definitely some people on my side. You know, I was hearing a lot of things a little earlier in the evening. That like yo, know, I was wrong for you hitting. <laughs> you good? No, I think my tooth, my tooth, you knocked my tooth out. I didn't do anything to be clear. <sighs> you know, you remember? You still look good. You still Thank look good. Thank you so much. You look great. Thank you. I'm um I'm dressed down for the occasion. <laughs> we both are I'm saying I'm just saying my wife You always in t-shirts yeah. And Deadass is coming back for our fifth season, no? Yes, ma'am Deadass coming back Deadass coming back So while we're acting up on the show You guys could go figure, figure out how um, Functional relationships work Exactly That's We can try We can all try to figure it out Because there's a lot going on You know, it's a lot going on A whole lot going on So did you watch tonight? I did watch Just got finished watching I feel. Um, I feel kind of hurt. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, man. Why you hurt? I'm hurt too. I'm hurt because, and I'm I'm strictly speaking as Zach, okay. right? I'm hurt because you would just assume that I would do that. Would but is it, isn't it an assumption if the bank told me that you did it? But fraud is fraud. Someone could have been fraudulently portraying themselves as Zach. Who would do that to you? I don't know. You got enemies that Karen doesn't know about? Is that what's going on? That, that, who got enemies? He got mad enemies. You know what I'm saying? Like who? Um, Pam, for one. Pam is not your I, enemy. I, I, Pam I, I, loves the shit out of you. Pam Her nosy self. Um, to bring... Andy. Why do you think my friends framed you? Yeah, it's your friends, you know. Um, some people think it was the preacher. I'm looking here. Some people think, it, why would the, why would Aaron do that? Aaron is a God-fearing man. Aaron is sneaky, bro. We don't know enough about Aaron yet to give him a pass, bro. We don't. What do we know about Aaron? What do we know? What do we know? Okay, how about we do this? How about we take a couple steps back and we kind of just evaluate where Karen and Zach are right now because I think the slap is clearly a focus as it should be. Yes. But, you know, there's some other stuff going on. Like what? There's some other... I mean, first of all, can we just clear up for the record that, like, you know, they really haven't been together this whole season from, like, the beginning? No, they haven't. Yeah, they haven't. Like, after the whole hospital thing, they weren't together when he busted in the hotel, they weren't exactly. together. Exactly. So you take responsibility for being a weirdo and busting in a hotel. And I'm not a weirdo for busting in a hotel. I saved your you, life. You brought somebody, a screwdriver. Somebody got to look after you. If you I brought a screwdriver. 
you won't be here. No, that's not true. You didn't show up to protect me. You showed up to protect yourself. Everything Zach does is to protect Karen. Everything. Everything. Showing up all the time at the wrong times. He's never been where he needed to be when he needed I will, to be. I will say, but you know what I think that is? I think it's because you know Karen. You've had three years with him. Right. There's something true about when you know somebody for a long time. You just It's like a sixth sense, right? You just feel it. But you should trust me when I say that I don't trust Aaron. I believe that's the truth. I believe you don't trust him. But um, the end, she's oops, going now. He's given me no Aaron. reason to doubt him thus far. What'd you say? What? This, this be my point. This is what people be blind. He gave you no reasons to doubt him. None. None. The fact that his wife no, shot herself. No, no, no direct reasons. No, no direct reasons. You know, there's something called a domino effect. And I think sometimes things happen outside of a person. Like, there's a lot of domino effects in Karen's life, you know, that she tries to avoid. And things just happen, like pop-ups, like you popping up, like I didn't call you to come, you know, that was the choice that you made. Um, you know, Aaron popping up at the door sometimes. Let like, me ask you. Yeah. Popping up in my hospital room. Don't alarm you at all. He ain't on my list of emergency contacts. You checking on me, though. Hospital room. But I sent him away. I don't trust none of them. I don't trust I none of them. I don't trust Aaron. I don't trust Hayden either. Hayden is sneaky, Back up too. He's a little sneaky, but you know, you are messing with somebody that you know. I ain't messing with nobody. Zach, Zach out here trying to do his thing. Zach out here in chain breaking, trying to make his money. Zach, oh, he's he's grinding. He's grinding. You, you heard about that. Zach is grinding. You're, you are absolutely right about that part. Um, Zach is always grinding. Uh, we were talking about double standards the other day, actually. You just got a great point. Okay. We were talking about double standards, what, yesterday in the interviews we were doing? Yes. Can we talk a little bit about that? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because, you know, I think there's this uh, misinterpretation, you know. Remember that dude, Roscoe Rico? Rico. If you don't, it's good. It, um, yeah, it was, it was a guy that Karen, you know, would see. That you jump off when Karen had to jump off. That everyone conveniently forgets when it was all about oh Zach was cheating That's on not Karen. True. As if, not true. But yeah, I remember that. Yeah. What you're bringing up that situation is, you know, she would call him when you guys were not together. You did. Uh, she a different thing. We, I mean, cheating is a different thing. Why is it? Why is it okay? You think the direction that both of these characters are moving? Why do you think that people have the suspicions, and why do you think they accept the things that they accept right now? Like what I mean, for example, is a lot of people are suspicious of Aaron, and I think a lot of that has to do with timing and the fact that things were still kind of murky and muddy with you know Zach and Karen. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot less suspicion surrounding. You and um, she who will not be named. Oh, you don't even want to say her name. You don't want to say her name. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'll I'll say her name. Her name is Fatima. And the reason why less F, please. Less F. What, what you want me to say? Atima? Like what you want Yes, say that. Atima? Like say Atima because the F stands for what y'all been doing. But go ahead. So. Here's, here's the first thing, okay? And we had to do it. We did it one time, all right? Don't put that on me. We did it one time, Have right? I? No, I stopped that. I stopped that. So, so you're allowed to sleep with somebody, but I'm not allowed to sleep with nobody? Well, I never said that I wasn't. You're the one that said you wasn't, so you're a liar. But I wasn't until you dropped him off at the house and said, take him, and you were out, deuces, and then you went to Danny's house. You forgot about that? No, I didn't forget about that. I remember that. But what I also remember is you saying, Zach, Zach, I got this, Zach. I don't need no help, Zach. And then calling me and saying, Zach, can you bring my clothes over? I remember that. You don't need Zach. You don't want Zach till you need him. And that's the problem with you, Karen. You be over Zach 
until you want something. And then when you want something, it's okay, call, call Zach. Somebody call Zach, and Zach's supposed to come over there. You know I ain't got no car. I ain't had no car at the time, but you called me to bring your clothes. How am I supposed to bring your clothes over there, Karen? And I ain't got no car. Mm. It's the Uber. You know Zach ain't got no money, so I'm supposed to spend money to oh. take your clothes over there, and you don't even want to give me no money? But your man's got a car. You ain't called him, you called me, though. Yes, because we had a great conversation, or so I thought. Um... And he gave me a ride. The only reason why he was there because he gave me a ride. I was gonna walk your, I was gonna walk your clothes to Sabrina house. He did show up at a good time. That was that was one of the times that he did show up at a yeah, good time. I agree, I agree. Karen messy, yo. You know what? I think they're both they're both messy. So like, what what is this, this whole thing about toxicity? Like, this banter back and forth is is wonderful. Um, right. But I also think there is something to be said about the toxicity surrounding well, two people and why they experienced it, which we also talked a little bit about yesterday on the interviews, but, you know. If, if we being serious for a minute, right? Just being serious for a minute, right? We talked mm-hmm. about the double standard. Mm-hmm. When it comes to dating and relationships, right? For example, if a man goes out and he says he wants to quote-unquote so his wallow, the seen as okay, right? Mm-hmm. Because the patriarchy has mm-hmm. decided that it's okay for a man to do that, right? Mm-hmm. Is it fair? Grand scheme of things, 